You would have to look back almost 20 years ago to find the champion of Spain which wasn't one of the big three. Real Madrid, Barcelona, and Atletico Madrid. The 2003-2004 season saw Valencia win their sixth La Liga trophy. Since then, Real Madrid have won it seven times, Barcelona 11 times, and Atletico Madrid just twice. These three clubs are the biggest in Spain historically and rule the country's domestic top flight. But this season, an unfamiliar face is at the top of the league, Girona FC. Amassing an impressive 34 points, losing just once this league campaign, they find themselves first place by two points. Can this be the next underdog story? Well, let's dive into it. Girona FC was founded on July 23rd, 1930, in the city of Girona. Historically, Girona have been in the third tier, playing 44 seasons in the Spanish third division. They would promote to the second division in 2008-2009 and find some stability, slowly going up in the league table each year until they were finally in contention to be promoted. They achieved La Liga promotion by placing second in the second division back in the 2016-2017 campaign. This would be their first ever season in Spain's top flight and it would catch the attention of a certain group who was buying up clubs all around the world, City Football Group. The same owners as Manchester City had decided to dip their hand into the Spanish footballing scene, purchasing 47% of Girona, making them the largest shareholders of the club. And they would finish a respectable 10th place in their first ever La Liga season. But things wouldn't be all sunshine and rainbows, and in the next season they would actually relegate, placing 18th. Back in the second division, after getting bought out by the city group, it wasn't a good look. And what's even worse is that they would come to the playoffs and lose in the 90th minute in the 1920 season, where Elche would beat them 1-0 in the playoff finals. The next season would continue the heartbreak. Once again, reaching the playoff final, they would win the first leg 2-1. Unfortunately, the second leg saw them concede two goals in the first half. And even though the opposing team got a red card in the 56th minute, Raya would hold on to that lead. The 2021-2022 season would see Girona reach the playoff final once again, where the first leg would end scoreless. But luckily for them, the third time would be the charm. Winning 3-1 in the playoff final, they finally got back to La Liga. And their first season in La Liga had been deja vu for the Red and Whites, where they would once again finish 10th. A solid finish. But no one would predict their new season to start like this. In the transfer market, they would use the Citigroup scouting network to make incredible signings. However, they wouldn't overspend. Artem Dovbik for a fee of 7.75 million euros would be their marquee signing. He was linked with clubs all over, but Girona would win his signature. Next would be Yangel Herrera, a Man City midfielder who would constantly get loaned out. They made his transfer permanent after a season on loan, costing the side 5 million euros. More smart transfers come in from the side, bringing in veteran Daily Blend on a free and then Jatafe man Porto for just 1.5 million. Gazaniga on a free, who is now their starting keeper, and a tactical loan move for Eric Garcia. This would strengthen their squad, building onto their 10th spot. Girona fans had much to cheer for this season, but even they wouldn't be imagining this. Starting off their season against Champion League side Real Sociedad, they would concede first. However, new transfer Dovbik would rescue a point for the side in the 72nd minute, finishing 1-1. This would be their only draw of the season so far, and they would play Jatafe, smacking them 3-0, where Stuani Brace had given them all three points. The next match would be against Europa League specialist Sevilla, and once again, Girona would be the victors. Two second half goals would see them win 2-1. Las Palmas would visit our side, and it would take 88 minutes to break the deadlock where Porto would score a header to steal all three points at home. Granada would be a six goal thriller, where once again Girona would put past four against the side and take all three points. Keeping up their beautiful form, Mallorca would be the following opponents. Girona would concede first, but still put five past them. Decimating Mallorca, many people would start to give Girona their props, as they would stay undefeated in the league, only dropping two points. But now, the tough tests would start. Villarreal away had seen people start to bet against Girona, but they would still deliver, winning in a 2-1 decisive victory. And finally, their biggest match of the season yet, Real Madrid at home. Easily the biggest game of the season. Girona would go all out in this match, showing no fear. But it wouldn't be enough. 
their first defeat of the season was a 3-0 setback for the club. This is where many people had thought they were going to start to fall off. But they would bounce back after their first defeat. And going against the relegation side, Cadiz, they would narrowly win 1-0, where Captain Garcia would score in the second half to give them all three points. The schedule would favor them even more, playing last place Almeria at home, who have failed to win a single game this season. Many people had put Girona as the easy favorites, but it wouldn't come easy, and in the 24th minute, Girona would find themselves 2-0 down. But showing excellent resilience, Girona would once again score 5 unanswered to shut out Almeria. And once again, the following match they had seen Girona at home, giving them all the time to prepare for a weaker Celta Vigo side. And they would keep pushing their opponent's net for 90 minutes to no avail. It had seemed as though they were going to drop points, but once again Herrera would save the day. A 91st minute goal would once again steal all points for Girona, 1-0 the final scoreline. In the first round of the Copa del Rey, a cheeky 2-1 win over 4th tier Spanish side would see them advance thanks to another injury time winner. Three days later, Osasuna would host our championship hopefuls, and once again Girona would continue winning ways, 4-2 the final score. Girona had been eating up teams alive with their electric offense. And now to their most recent game, they would play against Rayo Vallecano and concede in the 5th minute. But this team is resilient, and once again were able to pull out a 2-1 win. So far, they are on a 5 game league win streak, and their new transfer Dovbik is playing insanely well with 7 goals and 4 assists. Their defense has kept the respectable foreign clean sheets and they simply don't give up. Are we watching the next great underdog story? Sure, they are owned by the City Group, but they haven't made any crazy transfers out of their means. Can they really win the La Liga this season? Where do you think they will place? Who is their best player? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more like this one.